Demonic Attacks in Churches by Zipporah Mishela The Lord had given instructions that we should anoint our church both inside and outside and pray for it. He said a lot of evil things had been planted by satanic forces not only in our church but also many other churches, even pure holiness ones and people were not even aware of it. The devil is not a respecter of churches and wants to capture all. He has agents even in the hottest churches. The Lord also told us that there are a lot of demons in human form in our church just like everywhere else and he has started revealing them one by one. However, it is a spiritual warfare and what we do is pray against them so that they should fail in their mission. The Lord instructed us to pray so hard that they should start feeling like they are seated on coals of fire every time they are in the church and leave on their own. So we anointed the church and there were intensive prayers. We prayed fire prayers and demons began to manifest. One was heard screaming in a corner like a wounded pig as if terribly burning. Then there was also a presence on the altar as if of a very tall person. Two sisters in the church felt that presence and the Lord said to anoint that place as well as the pulpit. It was shocking at how much they had polluted the church. The Lord also instructed me to touch particular seats and pray for them. He showed me that they had put extra efforts in polluting those seats because that is where the prayer warriors usually are. The devil doesn't mind attacking cold people because he already has them. He also instructed us to anoint the pastor's seat, the curtains, the windows, and believe it or not, even the ground outside. He also told us to anoint the four walls of the church. We anointed every corner inside and outside and the Lord said that even the flowers outside the church had been polluted. They had put evil things there. Inside there was a black dog which was lying there on one side of the church. It was not there in the physical realm but in the spirit and hence could only be seen if one had spiritual eyes. The dog had curled itself up as if sleeping and it was interesting to note that the people who always sit there always sleep no matter how interesting the preaching is. This dog brought a spirit of sleep in the church and especially if you are not baptized with the Holy Spirit, you are an easy target because you have no shield. So they easily make you sleep because they don't want you to hear and be saved. We also anointed the banner where the name of our church was written. Wherever the Lord was instructing, we were anointing. Then as we prayed, the Lord instructed us to also pray for the offering box. He said that no matter how much people offered, evil forces were always putting limitations to the money offered so that it was used for nothing tangible. You can't look back and say, this or that was done using the offering. In short it is like pouring milk in a basket. The Lord showed that they had captured the offering box in the spirit. Then he also told us to anoint the hymn books. We were really shocked. We said, what, even the hymnals? The extent of the pollution was shocking. The Lord was speaking thorough his servants and telling us what to do. What he was telling us was being confirmed by another person also being used by the Lord. I tell you, the devil has massively polluted this world. If he can plant all sorts of evil things in a holiness church, imagine what kind of a party he is having with those who live a double life, discard holiness, or don't even know about God. Then I saw a lot of evil looking demons standing in the church just before the pew. I saw that these demons assisted the demons in human form as well as satanic agents during Bible study, prayer days as well as service. These demons were many and horribly darker than night. Some were turned upside down on the walls and some just stood there casting spells and helping those in the physical. I saw that they had made a huge hole in the spirit just in front of the pew, a hole leading to hell. So the Lord instructed to anoint that place and to kneel there and pray. So I knelt there and prayed. The Lord said we should command that hole to close up in the name of Jesus Christ. The demons were so angry and were saying, Shut up! Stop praying, but no attention was paid to them. These demons cast spells when people are in the church and the Lord showed me how they do it. I saw them stretching their hands towards us and spells were leaving their hands. The spells could be seen like white strings leaving their hands. They had put that hole there to chant that whoever dies in that church should go straight to hell. Hence they would even cast spells for someone to live a sinful life. Hell is no place to go. 
These demons are so desperate to get souls because they know the terrors of hell which cannot be explained with a human tongue. Demons are so horrible and they attack as a huge group at once all on just one person. They are like a pack of hungry dogs. These demons were so horrible that if you saw them and the Lord told you to stand in the middle of a crowded marketplace and pray, you would do it all for the fear of meeting these demons in hell. They are horrible sharp-toothed canines. I saw snakes which they had planted in the church in the spirit. A snake is a spirit of sin. They had planted spirits of sin in the church. Even spirits of fear of saying testimonies. The devil can even put the fear of saying testimonies or revelations in someone. Fear is one of Satan's weapons and must be rebuked in prayer. Whenever a demon in human form goes to say a testimony during testimony time we notice that after them, nobody else goes except other demons in human form or agents of the devil. They had planted fear in people. They had also cast a lot of spells to make people not live a holy life. People do look holy at church of course but most people usually have secret lives. They had cast spirits of secular TV, spirits of makeup, spirits of masturbation, spirits of smoking and drinking beer, spirits of double life, spirits of sexual immorality etc. The Lord also told me that the devil has also cast these spells in churches all around the world. Everything may look normal right now in your church but know that there is a great spiritual war going on. So we had to pray against all these things and set them ablaze in the name of Jesus Christ which is above all other names. There are some things I have left but am sharing these few that you may know what kind of spiritual battle we are in. We fight against powers and rulers of darkness. From this, we know that there is need for intercession for our churches. The Lord has called us to prayer. He tells to pray without ceasing because we are intercessors for others who are still in the devil's claws. The devil has captured many people and the important thing is to pray to the Father that he may baptize them with the Holy Spirit and that they may escape from hell. If even churches are polluted, imagine the world. Never compromise with holiness because hell is not a place you would wish for even the person who hates you most to go. There are no human words that can express how horrible hell is. However, the desperation of the devil can give you an idea of what kind of place it is. He doesn't want to be punished alone. The Lord said that the human mind does not even have the capacity to imagine the terrors that exist there. Be holy and escape from hell.